Hello, welcome to the Chemistry Made Simple podcast again. Great to have you here. I'm your host, Matthew Macario. In today's short episode, we're going to be talking about mean bond enthalpy. Firstly, let's define that. So mean bond enthalpy is the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous molecules breaks a covalent bond to form two free radicals. And that bond enthalpy is averaged over a range of molecules. So what does that mean? Let's think of an example to explain. So if we want to know the mean bond enthalpy of a carbon to hydrogen bond, we might measure the energy change that happens when a mole of gaseous methane has a single bond breakage so that we form a hydrogen radical and a CH3 radical. But this is over a range of molecules, so we might also make the same measurement with ethane, propane, and lots more molecules that don't even all have to be alkanes. But it would be a measure of what is the energy change when one carbon to hydrogen bond is broken such that two free radicals are formed. The, all those measurements would be gathered together and averaged, and that would be the mean bond enthalpy for a carbon to hydrogen bond. And of course, this data is done for all sorts of covalent bonds. Of course, some covalent bonds can only exist in one molecule, so it's not averaged over a range of compounds. So, for example, the hydrogen to hydrogen bond can only exist in H2, and therefore the measurement can only be taken from and can only apply to that compound. Okay, so that's the end of this microtopic. If you have any questions on this, do come over to the Chemistry Made Simple Patreon community at patreon.com slash chemistry made simple. I'll put a link in the notes. Ask your questions there. I'll be happy to answer them there too. See you there soon. Thank you for listening to this episode. I hope you found it useful. And if you have had value from it, do consider visiting our Patreon community at patreon.com slash chemistry made simple, where you'll be able to ask deeper questions about this topic and get more support for your studies too. So I look forward to speaking to you again in the next episode. And until then, do look after yourself and goodbye.